my name is Dr. Allison Levitt, and I am the medical director of Healthy Longevity Clinic in Boca Raton, Florida. And we have just introduced a new treatment therapeutic modality, and it's called TPE, or Therapeutic Plasma Exchange. Okay. Plasmapheresis. Yep. All these big words. Yeah, yeah. And so what, it, what does that all mean? So in a simple terms, we're basically removing the plasma portion of your blood. So you're, you have blood, red blood cells and then you have a plasma portion. And in that plasma portion are cells that can contribute to the aging process. Okay. We have um, antibodies, we have senescent cells, cells that can cause oxidative damage, free radicals, and all of these cells can damage your own body cells, genetic material, create the aging process, or they can also cause inflammatory processes in your body, which can lead to diseases of aging. Okay, so presumably then the system, when it's, uh, when it's operational, it's, it's uh, taking blood from my body and taking the plasma out of that blood, and then the plasma's being removed, so presumably that's being replaced with, with something else, right? Of course, yes. So we remove approximately 2 to 2.5 liters of your plasma, and then we replace it with a substance called albumin. We naturally have albumin in our body. The beauty of replacing it with albumin is, first of all, you don't have any volume loss, mm -hmm. but albumin also has some therapeutic properties. It's immune modulatory, and it's also and it's an antioxidant. So it's beneficial. You're removing out toxins, bad cells, cells that can create uh, more aging in your body, and you're replenishing it with something that's neutral and beneficial. Okay, so let's talk about this bit of equipment then. So uh, obviously it's not configured to operate today, but how, how would this work and what would it be like for me as a, as a patient or a client? Perfect, so as a patient, you would be comfortably seated in a chair and we would actually be putting in two IVs. Okay. So one would be an entrance point and one would be an exit point. And you would be very comfortable throughout the whole procedure. It lasts two to three hours. There would be a nurse who would be here and a physician who would be monitoring you during this process in case you have any adverse reactions, which are rare. Okay. It's a relatively safe procedure. It takes, like I mentioned, two to three hours. And when you're done, patients typically feel well. They mm -hmm. have no adverse, if they've had no adverse reaction, they can go about with their day just as they came in. Right, okay, so I'm sat there, so I've got it in and out. In and so, out. So blood is coming out of my system, going through this cleaning process, a removal process of the uh, of the plasma and replacing with, with the albumin, and it's coming back in. Is it replacing all my blood in my body? Is that two hour period meaning that everything's going out and everything's coming back in again? We're basically removing two, two to 2.5 liters of your plasma right. and then replacing that with the albumin. Okay. And so you're not gonna leave here feeling like you're at a loss. In fact, you may actually feel better when you leave here. Right, okay. So You will not be missing anything that you don't want missing from your body. Okay, that's good, that's <laughs> good, good to know. So in, in relation then to, to the process, so I have it done once, feeling good. What happens after that? Do I have a program of uh, interventions? Is it, is it over a period of time? Do I need to repeat it annually? How does that work? It's a great question. It's very individualized, but most people will need a minimum of three to six sessions to get the desired effect. And then typically they would go on some type of protocol for an extended period of time, a maintenance protocol. Okay, and in terms of the therapeutic benefits, I mean, obviously there are multiple diseases of aging, many of them are inf inflammatory related. So what, what are the sort of uh, uh, conditions that you'd be looking to either maybe consider reversing or mitigating before they've happened? So this particular therapeutic device is used in hospitals right now to treat autoimmune disease like myasthenia gravis. It's also used for Guillain-Barre. What we're using it for is in the field of longevity. So okay. we're trying to remove cells in your body that are contributing to the aging process. We understand, we know now that inflammation causes side effects to every cell in your body. It damages the DNA and that could produce a more rapid aging effect on your system. So we know that plasmapheresis can remove a lot of these cells. There are so many diseases, chronic diseases, whether it's heart disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, uh, diabetes, 
chronic fatigue, all of these things have their basis in inflammation. Mm -hmm. So when you remove inflammatory markers, you're basically reducing the load of inflammation in your body, and that's going to take away that load of disease process in your body. The reason you have to continue doing this is because unless you completely remove that disease, which we do here, we, that's our goal here at yeah. Longevity Clinic, yeah. and aging is constantly happening and our environment is toxic, we are constantly producing these chemical products that are going to create aging on each cell. Yeah. So that's why you need a maintenance program. Got it. And in terms of the, uh, the sort of people that would be looking to, to, to do that, your clients here at the Health and Longevity Clinic, uh, you mentioned it's happening in medical um, facilities around the world as well. I guess we've talked about Alzheimer's. That's a, that's a big issue taking place in, in many people's lives at the moment. So do you feel that this is beneficial to Alzheimer's? Well, we know it's actually beneficial for patients who have Alzheimer's. And we also know that what's available today in the market in conventional medicine is not really helpful. Uh -huh. It's a Band-Aid. Med medications are Band-Aids. This actually has the potential to reverse the symptoms of Alzheimer's in our patients. So we're very excited to use this for Alzheimer's. Again, we're using it also to reverse, we're trying to reverse biological age of our patients. Um, and there's a lot of studies coming out right now to prove that by removing these inflammatory markers that you can reverse biological age of patients. And I will get back to you and let you know by how many years once these studies come out, because that's going to be very significant. Right. Very, very exciting. Well, thanks for sharing this today. And presumably you're seeing clients now, right? Are they coming through the clinic? Yes. You're more than welcome to come. We would love to see you before you, before you actually get plasmapheresis, you get an extensive uh, blood test results. We want to look at all these markers of inflammation. We want to be able to note before and after treatment, do we see an effect? What markers are we seeing an effect on? And if you have a chronic ailment, we're also looking to see changes in your physical, you know, blood markers and physical quality of life. Um, those are things that we're monitoring right now and clinical trials are monitoring that as well. Right. Great. Well, thanks for sharing this today. It's been wonderful. Thank you for having me.